Well, do you ever wonder what you can do with your old smartphone? Technology consultant Francie Black is here to show us how to turn our old devices into a do-it-yourself home monitoring system, all for free, really? Yeah, it's really great. <laughs> do you have any old phones sitting around? Um, I usually recycle them and give them back because they can give them to, you know, crisis oh, intervention, well things like that. You can donate them, but uh, that's this a great option. May be good when you're done with your home security system. Yeah, yeah. So I have a couple of old phones and it's like, what do I do with these? Okay. And you can install free software and you can turn them into a monitoring system for, for free. So it's great. Okay. And it's really easy. The name of the app is called Presence. And what you do is you install it on your primary phone okay. and you designate it as the remote control per se. So that's your viewer. Okay. And then you take the same app and you install it on your old phones and select that as being a security camera. And you can do multiple phones, so you can have them throughout your house, really. So, yeah. Now, do and these phones have to have data plans? These no, no, because it uses your local Wi-Fi, so there's no data. It's all based on your home Wi-Fi. And it can be Android phones, it can be iOS phones, and it can also be tablets. Okay. So you're not really restricted. It's really pretty freeing. It's, pre it's good. So um, once you install the software, which just takes a second, um, you can set them up, and it literally they go right on. It's very quick. And so I'm going to go in and tap on my front door and you can see that it's actually surveilling. Now this picture is a little bit dark because we're looking out toward the light. But you can, from here, I, one of the things I wanted to point out, because these are using phones as the cameras, okay, so an internet camera, you can actually tap it and you can get two views. So if you set this in a hallway or okay. in a room, you can get, actually see, monitor both sides or down the hallway. <laughs> um, you can get video, you can get stills, um, you can even do audio. So if you're monitoring your pet, you could actually talk to your pet, tell it to get off the couch. I have some friends <laughs> that do this and that they record video of their dogs. Of their pets, yeah. yeah. And so you can do that here, again, for free. Um, just to let you know how full featured this is, if you go into options, there's all kinds. You can set motion activation so you can get notification if there's motion at your house. You can set the sensitivity levels for that. Um, it does record for you and saves for free up to 50 megs of video, which is pretty great for free. Um, you can set time between recording, sensitivity levels, and so forth. So there's all kinds of options that you can do. Um, you can go back and play your video. So if it does capture motion or sense motion and you get a notification, you can see it. Um, on the free version, it's up to 30 seconds. You can do the paid version. So this is the standard version, what I'm showing you. The paid version is really, it's $50 a month. I mean, excuse me, I said that wrong. $50 a year. Okay. A year, yeah, pardon well, me. Well, even $50 a month for some things. Well, yeah. Because regular home security is going to cost you more, more than, than that. that. Yeah, so I thought $50. And you can actually even do it a week at a time. So if you're going on vacation, so you want longer recordings, higher resolution video. You can just pay for it for that can, amount of time. You can pay for it for that, for that week. So that's really great. And you can see what activity level is going on. And then lastly, you can also create rules. Now, this is pretty neat, especially for a free app. And what these rules allow you to do is to really set specifics. So if you're going to be home, you know, on certain days and gone other days, or maybe you've got somebody coming in to walk your pet, you know, maybe you turn it off, turn it on, turn off the sensitivity. So you can set all those rules using if-then statement. It's all visually done, and it's wow. very simple. And again, it's free. So I've got all the downloads out my website at iPadWisdom.com. That is really a lot to take in, but very good. A yeah. very yep. Something that we can all use. We can all use that, yeah. If you want to learn more about those apps Francie showcased, you can also go to WLOS.com and click on Tech Time. Jay, this is right up your alley. Oh, yeah, understood.